Hey guys, it's Brooklover18 here. In my recent LEGO Ellen DeGeneres studio tour, a lot of you guys were asking about my LEGO camera. This camera here, which is in the center of my Ellen studio, is a custom-built camera using a bunch of different LEGO parts, uh, fully built by me, I believe. I don't even know if I got any inspiration for this anywhere. I actually thought I had made a how-to video on this camera, but it appears I haven't. So today, let's take a look at this camera in a little bit more detail, and I'll show you exactly how I made it for my LEGO Ellen DeGeneres mock studio. I don't remember how long ago I built this camera now, but I'm still pretty impressed with it. It is large enough that it looks like a full studio camera, like it's pretty huge, you're definitely not going to carry this around in your hand. And it's got a minifigure that acts as an operator, he stands at the back, he can watch the monitor, he can control the tripod, uh, move it around, pivot it, move it up and down, and really capture all the great shots. So it is a little bit taller than him, but again that makes sense as cameras and you know studios are absolutely massive. Now let's take a look at some of the parts we need to build this up. So here are all the parts that you're going to need to build this camera. I would say all the parts here are pretty common. There's none that are absolutely too crazy. And like with any how-to video I make, you can switch this up and add your own flair and design to it. You just obviously have to change the parts up. But I'll be building this one and this model based on the parts that I have here. You're going to want to start with this 1x2 jumper plate, turn it upside down, and add a 1x2 plate on top of that. From there, you're going to take this piece here, which I don't know the official name for it, but it is this brick um, with a few studs on the side and a rod at the front, and you're going to attach that in to the two by, and you're going to attach that in to the one by two plate. Now, normally you might think the camera would look like this because that makes sense with the regular Lego building method, but this camera is actually built using a lot of snot, which is studs not on top. So this is what it's actually going to look like. From there, you're going to take one of the one by two bricks add it here in between, you know, right after that really weird piece that I was talking about. And then on top, you're going to add a one by two brick with studs on the side. So this is what your camera should be looking like so far. It definitely doesn't look like a camera, but I swear we're going to get there. From there, what you can do is take one of the one by one studs and you're going to set it on the top on the very end of the rod here. Uh, as well, you'll take a one by two jumper plate and a two by two sloped brick and you're going to put it there like so. Now it is beginning to look like a camera. From there, you can set that down and you can actually pick up a one by two brick and you can add two tiles to the back of it here. I'm going to put this one by one uh, printed tile with the control panel as well as a one by one translucent red. Uh, but like I said, you can really put whatever tile you want there. It honestly doesn't matter. It's however you want to customize your camera. I chose the, the these ones because it's going to look like a you know, a control panel, it looks like what it's filming, as well as the red, so it can light up when that camera is live on the air. This is what it's going to look like when you attach them together. You don't want it flush with the bottom here because then it'll hang over a little bit. Um, so kind of attach the stud to the hole on the bottom of the plate for it to look like this. Next up, you can actually just set that down and we'll work on the tripod. So you'll take this 2x2 two two circle tile uh, plate, I guess you could say, uh, with a stud in the center. So it's not one of the jumper plates, it's one with a uh, stud that you can actually put things into. Like I said, there's a lot of use of the snot method here. And then you can take two of the 1x1 one one circle cones, and then you can take two of the 1x1 one one circle bricks and attach them into one another and then finish it off by adding a one by one stud to the very top. This is the tripod here, it is very very simple and then that actually just attaches into the bottom of the camera to the jumper plate. So as you can see it is beginning to look a lot more like a camera now. Next to get started what you can do is take the one by one clip bricks here um, and attach it with this other clip brick. And again, I don't know the official names to either of these, but as you can see, this is what it does look like. This is what it's supposed to mimic. And then you'll take one of the levers here, one of the, the extra pieces here. I chose to do mine in all black just because I like the look of the style. And you're gonna make the one handle. This is the left handle for the camera. And that just attaches on the bottom of the studs right here. And you're actually gonna repeat that exact same process for the right side of the camera and attach it there like so, and also attach the lever piece here as well. Uh, these ones are cool because these move around a lot, so you can really adjust for however your minifigure is actually going to hold uh, the camera here. And then finally, to touch it all off, you'll take the 2x2 two two circle tiles and you'll attach them to the top 
and they will look like the recorder. So you can do a little bit of a movement here. As you can see, this one is just slightly higher than this one here, and you can just play around with that, have some fun, um, just like you would with a regular LEGO camera. And then, of course, you're going to want to do the exact same thing to the other side here. As long as they both fit on, you can kind of adjust them however you may like. So that's what it looks like here. Like I said, one of them is just slightly higher than the other ones here at the back. And actually, I would say there are two different styles of these 2x2s, two and I would use the ones with the stud in the center and not the X, because the stud in the center just allows for a little bit more customization and play features, versus the X, it has to go in very specific spots. Um, but this is what the camera does look like. It, as I said, was very, very simple to build. Um, you don't need very many parts, and like any how-to video, if you don't have these parts or you want to switch it up a little, you are more than welcome to. You know, this video is just for pure inspiration, and I really, really encourage you to do whatever you want, do whatever you want, and really customize this and make it your own. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out this how-to video where I showed you how to build this custom LEGO Studio camera that I have here in my LEGO room and, of course, in my LEGO Ellen DeGeneres Studio. If you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and, of course, subscribe. Feel free to search my channel for a bunch of really old videos where I showed you how to make these cameras. This has been one of the longest-standing video series here on my channel. It's just me showing you how to make custom movie cameras because I've always been a huge fan of the film and TV industry, um, so it's been a thing for me for many many years to make cameras like this but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy please don't forget to leave a like comment and of course subscribe and i'm looking forward to seeing you here in the next video